I'm Lizzie. And I'm Izzy. And we need help. Each week we stumble through a new book, method, or concept that brings us one step closer to being our best self. Yes, we make fun of ourselves. And others. But mostly just ourselves. So here's to not taking self-help quite so seriously. Welcome to We Need Help. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Izzy, and this week we are doing The Penis Book by author Aaron Spitz, which I just think is really funny for an author of a <laughs> penis book that his last name is Spitz. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and this 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 episode is very special because I have we have we have brought the luckiest man on earth in to talk about <laughs> this book. <laughs> Yeah, it's our first guest. It's our first guest and my better half, Jason Yana. Welcome. What an honor. What an honor to be your first guest. Your own personal (laughs) penis has come. That's right. BYOP. Yep. Yep. You you dragged it in here kicking and screaming. Yes. Your your very own. I'm sorry. You couldn't. BYOP is a, we're going to have to BYOP. We you just thought you can't bring two. <laughs> we just thought if Machik and Jason were on, it'd be like a sword fight, and no one wants to see that. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that. No. Not a not a physical sword fight. Right. Just, uh, <laughs> it would be yeah, yeah the a sword fight of wits, if you will. Oh, <laughs> right. yuck! That's still a sword fight. I've seen yeah. it many times. So right. tell us about uh, the, the. So we're so excited. Thank you for for being here, honey. Um, if you're lucky, I'll take you home with me tonight. Yeah, baby. All right. Oh. Woo. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's going to have to perform, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, bring it. Okay. Dust him off. Right. Dust him off. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Spitz. Let's Aaron talk Spitz. about Spitz. He's Spitz funny. MD. He's funny. It, it's This book is written as if, like, you're dad was a neurologist or a urologist yes. and like yes. he tells all these bad puns and like penis yeah. jokes and yeah. it's like dad oh okay but it's kind of funny so he dr spitz has been practicing urology for over 21 years and he is an expert in male reproductive medicine and male sexual health and he's got um a no needle no scalpel vasectomy technique, which I don't know how he does. He just does he just tie it in a knot? <laughs> like, no, he done. just does like he crosses his arm like the genie and like wills it out. <laughs> yeah. Does it make that sound? Like, he puts oh. a cork in it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little teeny cork I've invented. Um, I really think that that somebody like that could develop a little device that you could pick up your phone and go. You know what? I want to make some. Boom, and I want to make a baby. Or boom, I don't. Just yeah, turn like it on an app, off. like an interactive. There should be, be an cool. app for that. There yeah. should be an app for that. Why don't we don't get in touch with Dr. Spitz? And uh, I would not approve that on our family <laughs> uh, account, just so you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, do you want it to spit, or do you, you know, do you not? <laughs> do you not want it to spit, yeah. or how much you, you like? There should be a dial. You can. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> right. I. <clears throat> um, so he was born in Miami Beach, so he's a Floridian. But he Which grew up on the he's East. Like, there it is. Yeah. The, okay. It, 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 this explains so everything. This explains mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he mm-hmm. went to Cornell. He got a Bachelor of Arts with distinctions in all subjects. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> We're gonna afterbirth that one. Um, he got his. <laughs> yeah, he got his MD <laughs> from Cornell University Medical College. He and his wife, Sarah, have three sons. And I was stalking Sarah. I wanted to see who is the wife I of Dr. Love Aaron Spitz. Y- oh. Mm. I love that you stalked her because that's my number one question right now. What is Sarah up to? But I couldn't find anything. So we're going to have to afterbirth that too. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. Sarah's like, I'm out of here. Let She's hiding somewhere. <laughs> She's like, too many, <laughs> too many. Too many dick puns. Too many penis puns for Seriously. me. Seriously. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's Before about we it. get started, I didn't. I didn't read this book at all. <laughs> yeah, I barely read it. So, Jason, we're just going to lay here. You're going to do all yeah. the work. <laughs> and I was... <laughs> well, and I, that's... I'd like, I'd like to prepare everyone for this to be a four-minute... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. I'm out. Was 
wasn't as good for you as it was for me. Yeah. Wow. That was really, you know, some of my Thank best you. work. <laughs> Four minutes. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Went long. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, like, the interesting thing about his wife is that her husband's career is basically a giant bag of dicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 20 years of it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's the highest compliment. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, we're sorry. Where, Where does he live now? He lives in uh, Laguna Beach. He's got to be in L.A., yeah. Laguna Beach oh, yeah. with oh, his yeah. three yeah. sons. He's yeah, like he's his... like the urologist to the stars, you know? Yeah. Oh, he is? Yeah. I would think so. I would think so. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't say that. I said that. But, yeah. he, okay. This, this so was, you'll I think, be joining yeah. him when you, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like the stunt cock or whatever, if you yeah. want. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh no, honey, no. He, okay, so he, well, just one more thing about Aaron Spitz. Okay, <clears throat> okay. He's also a leader in the non-surgical treatment of Peyronie's disease, which is a curved penis. I didn't realize that was a disease. I didn't yeah. either. Yeah. yeah, and so he's the national spokesperson of Ask About the Curve campaign, which I'm going to thoroughly research, and it's going to be on the and Afterbirth. Afterbirth is will Ask be Ask About ha- the Curve campaign. <laughs> I also, did you read a thing that he kind of fancied himself, at least in college, like he was considering a career in comedy? I didn't know that, and I love and so, that. Yeah, you know, so he fancies himself as funny. Yeah. You know. That's <laughs> so do I. Just leave that up to, you know, everybody's interpretation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taste is what you like, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's a so, chapter on taste. We'll get to that. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, he starts off. I love where he start. He starts off with all the names for dicks: Dick, Dong, Putz, Putz. I didn't know that. Schlong. No, I didn't Peter. either. Is that a thing? Putz yeah. is a part of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Johnson Skin Flute, which is gross. <laughs> didn't you play yeah. the flute? Like any of these? Didn't you play the flute in high school? <laughs> she did, and she well. I play. I faked playing the flute. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. Hey, <laughs> she's definitely first chair in the skin flute. <laughs> the Jethro Tull of skin flutes. <laughs> oh yeah! Finally, oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom, I made you proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so maestro, Mister Happy mm. Vlad the Impaler. I don't know. I don't like any of these names. They don't. They're not turning me on. Yeah, like and in Poland they name them after animals. What? Like, yeah, they name them after <laughs> animals, right? So <laughs> yeah, and okay, so, oh, but you know what? Masturbation is also after animals. Spanking the monkey. In Poland, it's beating the horse. Oh, geez, they that's must have bigger penises. That, yeah, <laughs> that's if you're so endowed. <laughs> Hey, you could tell the Polish people beating a horse in, in yeah, America. They're like, they're like yeah. thinking the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like that that they don't do nuance. Things yeah. are just you know all the way one way or the other. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, beat the, beat the horse. Yeah, that's that's what <laughs> that is. that's masturbation. <laughs> is this gonna go on? <laughs> I think it is. I'm done. <laughs> Um, okay. Jason, well, you know, you the ever thing had, was, yeah, go ahead. like, I thought that, like, in the beginning, he was going to kind of get those things out of the way. Yeah. The you puns. know, like, hey, let's get the fun, like the puns, let's break the ice with them. But the puns continued at level 10 the entire book. <laughs> I know. Entire. I didn't think there would be that many puns, but they continued no. through all the chapters. Yeah, and there, there are was some many that chapters. I never heard. There was, mm-hmm. I don't like, I, I can get punned out quick. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get yeah, annoyed was, with puns. I got very punned out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no longer pun. Yeah, <laughs> at a certain point. There's, I mean, there's 14 chapters, and there's tons of tons of puns in all the chapters. I have no idea how you make a penis book that goes longer than 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll read the titles of the chapters. We're not gonna go over all of them, but there's okay. bedroom basics: how an erection happens. Come and get it, ejaculation and orgasm, big gulp, a tasteful review of semen, wink. Size matters, how do you measure up, bigger, harder, faster, penis enhancements. Sex lies and videotape, hard facts about pornography, circumcision, he's got erectile dysfunction, penis pills, when pills don't work, what happens then, surgical implants, low testosterone, 
um, eating and how that affects your penis, um, and then exercise as well. So the, Ooh, this just is a ton. Be fun. Yeah. Woo way. Yeah. So Jason, you actually yeah. read the book. <laughs> well, honey, you don't. What you don't know is this is what isn't. I just sit around and talk about when we're not on air. Yeah. Well, I do sense. think that that women talk about dicks more than men. I mean, okay. we don't we don't sit around to talk about this stuff. Well, I'm curious. Like, do you guys? Oh. I, I'm going to ask some of the questions that maybe you know I've always wanted to ask. So, do you guys compare? Like, is that a thing? Because you see it in movies that guys compare in the locker rooms and no. stuff. Is that a thing? No. Or no? Well. You know, I remember like when we were 10, 12, maybe 13, you know, that kind of age, there was a neighbor of mine that we hung out with and he was like, let me see yours and I'll show you mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that sort of thing. But okay, so I don't think that that's a what happened after that? <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't think that we knew. First of all, there's there's the grower versus shower issue. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know like if you got to that chapter or not. I did, but, but why don't you expand on it? It Wait. really is and- a thing. <laughs> it really is a thing. There, there's a very big difference between your flaccid size and your erect size with some men. And some men, it's almost the same. You know, it's just low or hot. Right. So yeah. if, if you're a grower, you start out pretty tiny, right? And then you, when you get an erection, it's like, whoa, you know, hey, look at me. If yeah. you're a shower, it's almost the same, right? So. And temperature can change that also. So you could literally be walking around with an above average penis, but you know, if if you're a grower, you won't even really realize that because you see somebody else who's like, you know, hey, you know, because you're not you're not gonna be like, let me show you mine and I'll show you yours. You're not gonna be (laughs) no. I mean, you're not gonna be like turned on. You're not gonna be hard. Okay. Right. So you can you could literally have like a, a inaccurate assessment of your own size based on that fact alone. And he talked a lot about that. I and know I know a gay couple that one's a grower, one's a shower, and hard they're basically the same size. Mm-hmm. How do you mm-hmm. know that? Because I asked him oh, over okay. many cocktails. <laughs> yeah, he's a sharer. Also. Uh, he's also a share. Yeah, he's, he's a, a grower, grower and a share. Shower, share. And share. <laughs> right. Yeah. And and and, and the, I have no boundaries, so there you go. And the one part of that couple would be very not happy to hear that the other one said all those things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Lindsay just destroyed a relationship. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No, I'm just kidding. No. I'm just no. kidding. Um, so, yeah, he does mention that. You're right. Cause I, I, mm-hmm. I, and mm-hmm. I quote, here's a remarkable fact. Your penis is anchored just as far back inside you as what you see dangling in front of you. That's right, your penis is twice as long as you thought it was, and maybe actually as long as you said it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so you know, that, yeah. who cares? Who cares what you can't see? It doesn't matter. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't matter to anybody. It, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count at all. I'm sorry. All. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, now, like after people read that, they're gonna be like, how long is your penis? 14 inches. On no, the inside. Not. Yeah, it's what you, it's what what's yeah. on the inside that matters. No, it isn't. No. <laughs> right. It's like you know the pop goes the weasel game, where yeah. it pops out. Yeah, that's the only part that, that scares anybody. Freaked me out. Yeah. It freaked me. It's yeah. scared. It still scares me. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to ask a couple more questions that maybe I've always wanted to ask. Do you think penis size is hereditary? And it is. Is it? Do you get it from your dad, or do you? Did he talk about that at all? I, I, I How big sure. is your mom's dick? <laughs> huge. Her inside dick White, is huge. Yes. Yeah. How big is your mom's penis? I get all my. Penis? Yeah. Yeah. I get all my primary sexual characteristics from my mother. Yeah. <laughs> You'll, you'll be happy to know that, Lizzie. But, um, oh, trust me, I know. He did not say a lot about that. Like the hereditary part, like, yeah. correct. I'm not sure because maybe I missed that, but I, I okay, don't well, remember him saying that. that. Yeah, and, you know, um, and culturally also, what he was saying about size is it is very difficult because a doctor, somebody who's writing a book, they want to write in terms of science. They want to write in yeah. terms of things that are, are measurable from a clinical perspective 
point of view. And so different people have different ways of testing, measuring. Are we measuring hard? Are we measuring soft? Because measuring hard is kind of weird because you can't go, hey, you know, get, get it hard and I'll measure it. That's kind of <laughs> awkward in a clinical setting. So, you know, there are a lot of things like that that are that are difficult to, to assess. And he was saying that by and large, the thing about like different races and stuff like that, it's it's pretty much not a thing. You know, most most of the time, it racial doesn't really statistically mean anything, you know, or mm. country. So black people or, don't have bigger penises. I think that's pretty much what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I just like it's like Asians are bad drivers. They are. So like, <laughs> there's some truth to every little. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. I feel and I, I'm not, like, I'm just going to put this out there. I do feel like it's there's got to be some truth to it. Do you, you know, like there's yeah. got to be, there's yeah. got to be. No, I think, I think you're right. I think there probably is. I think he didn't want to like, it's hard to quantify. And if you can't quantify it, you probably shouldn't say it in a book. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah I think like, that's what I liked about it was think? that he was, it, there was a lot of just research based and facts and, you know, he wasn't just spouting his own, he wasn't just spitzing his, his own experience. <laughs> right. He was just, yeah. yeah. he was backing it up with data, which I, I really mm-hmm. liked. Yeah. Like, I don't think he personally traveled the country measuring dicks but somebody you know? has somebody yeah, has no, yeah. i know her i know her <laughs> <laughs> so side note my okay. best friend in college um, <laughs> jill she had a she was so funny she had a book of butts she would go out with a polaroid camera for three years and take pictures of glorious booties Oh. And write just their name on the Polaroid. And she had a Mm -hmm. full book of butts. It was just fantastic. (laughs) That's brilliant. I think that would be a good coffee table book. Yes, it would be a great coffee table book. I wonder if she still has it. She passed. She died. Oh, yeah. yeah, That's her. I have the book of butts, though. I have it. So maybe I'll. She she wasn't buried with it or anything? No. I'll, I'll maybe publish it as like an homage to her. So. That would be really cool. Yeah, her family would really appreciate that. Too. Yeah, I think they would. I yeah. mean, I anything when somebody dies, like I, unexpectedly, it's like you'll do anything to get like a little piece of them, even if yeah. it's a book of butts. Yeah, and it's just so funny because like no one knew about this book of butts <laughs> until she passed, and oh, then I was God. like cleaning out her stuff, and suddenly I find this like album, and I'm going through it, and it's just people's names and their butts. <laughs> Were they naked butts? No, they were just, they were clothed butts. Oh, which was like, I had na- I thought they'd be naked. It was, no, it was tasteful. It was like their naked butts, like very nice. Mm-hmm. And then I just thought because I was so thinking funny. like like her funeral would have been good to have like a twenty one butt salute. Yeah, <laughs> you know, or a forty two bun salute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to do that? All yeah. like dressed in black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. And I can only imagine why you two were friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your best friends. <laughs> you okay, would have so loved it. Let's get on to, let's, I mean, of course, this is me. Let's get on to the ejaculation part. Like, Oh, so on. you guys are, you girls are done talking about size already? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that true? Because I do have one story about that. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, okay. I want to hear the story. Um, I knew that Segway would come up in this, but I have a friend. We call him Segway. I don't have to give his real name, but whatever. <laughs> so we're sitting there in college, freshman year, really like the first week, and they put you in this big auditorium. There's like probably 400 people in there, and this guy who was the uh, professor of some kind of studies, so I don't know, he was talking about penis size. And I think, you know, he just started talking about it to like shock everybody. You know, he's like, you know, and the, you know, average male, you know, penis size and blah, blah. And Segway just stands up. This guy, I, nobody knows anybody yet, right? I'd never met him before. He stands up and he goes, four and a half inches. <laughs> like, I don't know where, like four and a half inches is the average size. Like, Would he right? <laughs> Uh, no, no, not according to Doctor Spitz. It's what, five point one three, five point one three inches. Because he was in milli- okay. he was in centimeters, so I had to do the conversion, right? Oh, right, but, right. Um, yeah. We're in Europe, so we don't know inches. <laughs> five point one four inches. How many centimeters is that? <laughs> How many centimeters is that? Uh, we'll have to afterbirth that. We're gonna after- uh, <laughs> We're gonna for, Euro- for all the you Europeans, guys. On here. <laughs> 5.14 centimeters. Is that 16 centimeters? 
Yeah. So I, I want to ask this question straight up, and then we'll move on to ejaculation. Are okay. men concerned? Do they worry? Do you think about their size? Like, is that a concern? Oh gosh, of course. Okay, that would be everything. my number one concern as a man. It's about thirteen centimeters. <laughs> oh, see, and and female, it's sixteen. Yeah. So, but yeah, of course. I mean, it's like, I mean, let's just be honest. Yeah. It's a big it matters. Thing. It's it a matters. big thing. Like, and, and it's a big thing before, like, when you're just in that that first like show me stage. Like the first thing I remember, and I have talked to a lot of people about this, and I think it was a big thing back then. But like junior high, they were like, everybody's got to take a nude shower. Oh yeah. This, like, What's up like, with that? Like Mr. Larvell, right? No, it was like he was like the wrestling coach, and he was like the gym teacher, and he's just like, "You need to take a," and if you didn't, he'd be like, "Strip down right now, and take a nude shower." That's so now all of a sudden, like you're yeah, and you're like, I mean, ah! and, and there's all these like dicks everywhere, and you're like, never seen this before. He's a fucking before. pedophile. Yes. That's all I can say. Oh, I absolutely. That's I mean, like, if you're like that, that's uh, you'd have to be, because right. I mean. Or a and, but I thought that was like I thought that was just thing? him. Maybe he was just from the army, like the army. But but the more you talk to people, <laughs> yeah. the more that or was the, that was the rule. That was like the way it was yeah. back yeah. then in every school. I think he might have added a certain like pedophilic woomph to it with the whole yeah. like, stop, stop, naked, you little shit <laughs> before I tear you into asshole. Pedophilic you know that kind of woomph. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Hashtag. It yeah. is now. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so you worried I, I, about it. So yeah, so now your showers, right, are they're, have a have a big advantage in that right, setting. Living large. Yeah. And then, you know, if you're not, you're feeling like, whoa, you know. Yeah. Something yeah, ain't right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that, that and was that has like before huge... Google. So like yeah. you couldn't Right. Like where, yeah, where would you go? Porn was hard to get. Where porn would you, was hard to get. Right, but I'm <laughs> saying like if you're cuz if I'm worried about anything, I'll just Google and be like, "Oh, okay." I'm cool. Don't worry. Because other, yeah. 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 No, you yeah. can't do that. And uh, and then couple that with the fact that you don't talk about this. Yeah. Right. Like I didn't. I mean, I mean, you you get you get this thing, right? Nobody tells you how to use it. Nobody like gives you. There's no user manual. I mean, there well, was. I mean, some parents might say. Like, I didn't have any of that. We didn't either. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Lizzie. I think your parents probably would have been more open. To My that. parents were super liberal, super yeah. progressive about. Yeah, stuff her like mom that. gave me the talk. <laughs> <laughs> like two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> she always, like constantly calls him and gives him the talk. Now, honey. <laughs> Oh, Seriously, <laughs> I gotta like I gotta ask my brother um, if like I don't I doubt my dad ever had the talk with him. Um, yeah, but my mom yeah. never. But yeah, so I uh, Jason did not get the talk no. at all. Okay. No, his dad was a doctor, and what did he like? Like he was. He said if you oh, masturbate, yeah, he did. That you'll yeah. go blind. <laughs> yeah, no, he said it saps your energy, so you don't do it. It's bad for you. Get, you're gonna get sick yeah and when a doctor says that it's He's weirder a doctor. Yeah. like because because i remember i got in a fight and i had a bruise like on the side of my head like kind of at the temple and he comes in and he's like he just wanted to you know scare me so i didn't do it again but he was like i hope it's not brain damage <laughs> <laughs> and he walked out of the room and left me there wow. alone wow and when, so when a doctor says that, it's weird. Like, if it was anybody else, you would be like, oh, he's an idiot. He doesn't know brain damage. But I'm like, this motherfucker went to school for this shit. Yeah. And he's telling me that it might be. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Let's move on to ejaculation. Is blue balls a thing? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think the color changes. Oh. You know, I'm sort of colorblind, so I might not he know is that. Colorblind, and they're, I've never noticed Smurf balls. They're in sepia this house. balls. <laughs> <laughs> Tones of Different sepia. Different shades of. It's all shades of gray. Yeah. yeah. Fifty shades of blue balls. Fifty shades of sepia balls. <laughs> I got gray balls. Yeah, gray balls. You're giving me gray balls. <laughs> wow, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, honey, I've got gray balls. Yeah. So yeah. he talks about that. Is but it blue they balls ache, is a thing? right? They ache. The the balls ache if yeah. you have it. 
Yeah. Right, right. Okay. If you haven't, or if you, let's say you get like an erection and you maybe even you have sex, but you don't come, like it's going to. It's going to be like... That never it's a, happens, right, honey? Not honey. in our house. <laughs> not in my house. Honey, not, that not, not in honey? Lizzie's house. Come on. <laughs> not allowed. No, I, just, whoa, I can just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can just look at her and I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I can attest to that. You guys, <laughs> you guys are so cute. That's why I have to wear blinders. I wear these... <laughs> Yeah, it was getting out of hand. <laughs> what a boom. Yeah, good pun. What a boom. Oh, good pun. Uh, all right. But it's not, li- listen, I mean, it's not debilitating. Okay? You know, it's not this what? thing where. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're it's talking not about like, blue balls. balls. I thought you were you, talking yeah. about my sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is. That is. <laughs> debilitating. And that'll have you walking funny for sure. <laughs> that'll have you in a psycho, like a psychotherapy, pretty quick. I don't know how debilitating it is. <laughs> how would you describe your sex life? It's completely debilitating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would, but I, I can't. I can't speak. <laughs> yeah, just rocking back and forth. <laughs> it's like it's like awakenings in this house. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the the blue balls is not debilitating it's not like hey you you owe me it's hurts you hurt me no, i mean come on okay Get then it. i'm gonna that, that was in fact a lie okay good so what else about ejaculating anything he okay talks here's about my semen. question yeah. here's my question oh, okay i'm wondering if people if men you people you, you guys people. do you practice spraying it is it important to get it like far? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Distance? What? I mean, yeah, sure. What? Why not? Why not? Well, so here's the thing. Not like, random. No, like, like, um, I. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the the meme about like the like how uh, a regular person when they finish pumping their gas, they just take the pump out and put it back uh, in yeah. the pump. A porn star takes it out and sprays the gas all over the car. <laughs> and they're done. Because that's the thing. Like, you know, when you're a kid and your parents don't teach you or whatever, you're, they I don't mean, teach porn you is, how to ejaculate. Porn's what you got. I mean, you have porn, oh. right? So, you know, and that in, in, in that setting, that's what it's about. It's about the money shot, right? Yeah. So you think that, you know, that's, that's what important. you need to do or whatever. But, um, yeah. but, uh, but that... It's not porn's fault. Like 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 it's ejaculating a big volume and shooting it all over the place. I mean that's primarily just yeah, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like that's what you want. That's <laughs> what you want that to do. Sounds like yes. a mess. Like think yes. about it. No, well, that sounds like my eye is gonna be on fire. Right, because because you're you're <laughs> like you're the, the the orgasm and the ejaculation isn't something that happens to you. It ha- you're it's happening to the world. Like you're giving it to the world, baby. You know what I mean? Like ah. this is the whole reason I wear contacts. Y'all. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's make a mess. Okay, let's Rambo. break it. Let's tear it. Yeah. yeah. Come into the bedroom with like safety goggles on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like yeah. A hazmat I mean, well, suit. Well, think about it. Like like a what? Beekeeper suit. <laughs> Some sort of hazmat situation. Yeah. 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 Clean uh, up on. Uh, I'm like. Her. <laughs> Are you close? <laughs> <laughs> I am your lover. <laughs> so, I just, you guys, I just want you to, this never have another Star Wars reference just came out of me. This is you guys. This, is huge. this girl has never seen Star Wars. So. I've never seen Star Wars, <laughs> but yeah. yet she's referencing just every other episode. Break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, well, give her a break if she's not like perfect at it, because you know she's flying. This she's flying by. Not like our sex she's, life. Too. She's referencing other references. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's yeah. not even referencing Star Wars. She's referencing references. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like my sister would be super pissed about her yeah, Star Wars references. Oh god. She's a huge fan. She's so. taught me everything I know. <laughs> Your sister's straight. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. And she's just into it. She's she did. okay. <laughs> she's really into Star Wars. <laughs> are gay or lesbians into Star Wars? I don't know. <laughs> well, after birth. After birth. That. Oh, good. Yeah. We're, oh, this is good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't know if you'll find a clinical and, study on it, but well, we might. We'll know. do lesbians for Star Wars. Hashtag lesbians for, for Star, Star Wars. Wars. Um, so the first time you ejaculated, Jason, did you know what was going on? No. Okay. Were you terrified? No. It was okay. great. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to do it again, and I did. My neighbor was terrified. <laughs> <I did. laughs> My mother was terrified. My grandmother was horrified. <laughs> you know, the, whoever's in charge of the laundry was not happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh my god that's hilarious i think like do you know anybody who was terrified when they ejaculated for the first time no but i'm sure it happens i don't know know. it just seems like it would be if you were if it wasn't talked about i guess people talked about it in school or whatever but it it would almost be like somebody who didn't know a period was coming and then suddenly yeah or a baby was coming you know just like oh yeah yeah so it's just yeah so yeah, I'm not maybe terrified, but like, oh my goodness, you know, like, who, baby, there, what's that? Yeah. But there are um, guys who ejaculate into a sock when they masturbate. Uh, yeah, Have you what, heard of this? Yeah. What is up with this? that? No, that's a thing. I, I, know, I think it's just but why. It's just to keep it um, from making contained. a mess, to keep it contained, I guess. But I, I just see that as like sort of a shame thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I gotta, mm, I gotta hide the, I gotta you know, contain it. Yeah. 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 Okay. There's a lot of shame in masturbation. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of shame in all of this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. No, and and that's why it's cool that you guys picked this book. It's cool that we're talking about it because you know, I mean, this is one of the this is like one of the last frontiers of things that you can't talk about right now. Yeah. Right. And you know, culture moves forward and whatever. So eventually, this will be a thing. I think uh, you know he covers this later on in the book, but like the culture and the penis and culture and there really is there's a lot of like art now there's a lot of artists who you know focus on this there's a guy named Picasso who paints with his dick whoa famous you know guy who makes i guess good paintings or whatever but like and Kevin Bacon of all people do you know about this no i know about i yeah, like Kevin, I Bacon Kevin Bacon and his wife whoever she is i like her Kara Sedgwick yeah that's his wife still. Yeah, yeah. wow. They're still happily, okay, I, I've stalked them recently. I'm yeah, still happily them married, too. and yeah. they play like a little cute. They have a little cute thing going around on a ukulele. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, he is a big proponent of the penis being shown in movies, and he he showed his penis in a movie. It was um the one with Nev Campbell and the other girl. They had like a threesome, and it oh, was kind of like a things. big. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Now, I think that's it. Now I might be wrong, but he, you know, was he's a big proponent of that. He has like a hashtag about it, like yeah, show the bacon or something I, like that. I don't show know. the bacon. Show the bacon. Okay. I love oh. that. <laughs> I don't know what a perfect surname. You know, show the bacon, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, um, which you know seems a little weird at first, but like you know what? I mean, it's it's to the point now where actresses are all you know it's it, they can they, they're naked all the time you know whatever but this this male part is just never a part of that so yeah. hey you know why not well, i feel like that about nipples i'm so sick and tired of hiding my nipples yeah like, right like this is like i mean we live in i think the united states is an entirely too uh uh ashamed of their sexuality yeah yeah it's just united like, yeah the u.s is so it's such a contradiction right mm-hmm. yeah really mm-hmm. it's yeah. makes no sense sexuality Blunt it's like pigs. everything's so sexualized but then it's not you know and it's yeah, just so yeah. it's it's really irritating where in europe everything's just a bit more free like there's new tons of nude beaches in europe no one cares no one cares, no one cares. it's just boobs you know and right. like if you really think about it like like if, yeah. if you're I, I just I, I I don't get it. I don't get yeah. like the shame behind yeah. it. Sometimes yeah, this is like, a part of your body, and I know. somehow it's yeah. like taboo to even. To, you can't even say the word penis on TV yet. You know? I know. Oh, you can't. No, I don't think you really? can. Yeah. Oh God. Not on like normal TV. Okay. We it's like sometimes I mean, I'm over here like 
over yonder in Europe and like looking at things that are debates in the US, like the whole breastfeeding debate. Like, should oh, I yeah. know? Like, I was, we were all over yeah. here in Europe, like, huh? What? what was, is this even an issue? Like, what is going on? Yeah, or even Nuts. like, you know, for me too, like, like this thing about um, bathrooms and the sexes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I like, wanted to ask you about that. How do you feel about that? I, I just, you know what, like, you go, okay, so I'm a man, I go into the bathroom, I go to a urinal, right? And mm -hmm. a lot of them, they don't have dividers at the all between them. Yeah. So you're like, you're closer than like COVID distance. Right. You know what I mean? I think it's less than six feet, right? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. you know, I'm not looking at your shit. You're not looking at mine. You know, it's not a thing. Now, now, if, if somebody does, you know what? Hey, you know what? Whatever. That this is this is a body part. You see it. Okay. Yeah. It's not like. How do you, you not know, look at other people's penises? Like right there, I would have it's, to it's, look. That's pretty awkward. I, I think you know. Is it? You get yeah, a you'll, bite. you'll get caught looking, and that's a weird. <laughs> thing. Yeah. I would have to look. Now you've got a problem. But like I can't you know, not it's. Look. <laughs> I gotta see what <laughs> your penis <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Am I right? You look like a big penis guy. I'm right. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> but, but with the grower, hard? with the grower and shower thing? thing, yeah, you're gonna have to be a fluffer. <laughs> to I'm yeah. A fluffer. If you're prepared to fluff, then go right ahead. Okay, I would do it all there. No. Okay, so like transgender. But, but you know, yeah, with that, it's like okay, just because uh, there's a penis in the room doesn't mean that it's gonna like attack you. I agree completely. You know what I mean? I like, agree completely. Like, I don't have any problem with, like, like if I was with our friend who's gay or whatever, and we're going to the bathroom at the same time, like, I, I'm not going to be, like, scared of him. Like, he's going to attack me or something. <laughs> he's not going to. He's definitely <laughs> or, not going to put his penis inside of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I yeah, I, a there's a lot of fear because I, I and I, I don't know what it is about. Like, the, it just it's non-existent. Like, it, it doesn't it's not real with these these things. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe people will say, like, you know, rapes have happened in high school locker rooms and stuff like that. That's different. That's like a mob of mm. of kids with like testosterone and nobody around watching or something or yeah. no, no, like, you know, supervision or whatever. But like. Yeah, again, these are yeah. these are like issues that are made up by the media because we don't yeah we, we don't have these issues in the news here mm -hmm. over here yeah like they there's don't, no not real there's no issues here like it's this. not saying that there's not rapes there right. it's just no, if no. you're a rapist you're gonna rape yeah. and there are a lot of other rapist things that happen rape. like you know there's no yeah like you know the football locker room when I was in high school like there was a hook on the ceiling hanging from the ceiling you're like hmm that's interesting what's that doing there. And then you see a bunch of seniors grabbing a freshman and hanging him by his jock strap oh. from that. And that's not sexual. That's not that. But that is like a completely de demeaning thing. That's an attack. That's an assault. It's horrible. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, the kid crying, you know, and like, it's just a horrible, horrible thing that, that happens. And that's, you know, th those things happen. But it's not because there's a men or a woman's sign on the locker room right you know right, what I mean? right right I don't know. that's crazy yeah should we take a banta break let's take a banta break we'll be back in just a minute thank you all for listening to the we need help podcast we actually need your help you can become a member of the we need help movement is that can you tell us how yeah, absolutely. So there's this really cool service called Patreon, where you can support artists, people doing different projects, people like us. Um, you basically go to the www.patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash We Need Help Podcast. And you can subscribe a monthly donation every Stipend. month. Stipend, yeah, for just a dollar a day, just a <laughs> you would be helping us out greatly. And um, if you become a Patreon, you get access to exclusive content. You get a say in what we do because every month we're going to be picking somebody and they get to pick a book that we're going to review. So you actually have a bit of a say in the art that we produce, which is really cool. And you get to go to heaven. Yes. 
that's yes. the number one thing. You get to go to heaven. So <laughs> if you don't do it, you're going to hell. But if you do do it, you get eternal life. How awesome is that it, for just a dollar a day, eternal life? I mean, eternal <laughs> life for a dollar a day. <laughs> so again, we would really appreciate your support. It costs money to do this, by the it way. It costs money. It and does. Time yeah, and we were shocked. We were shocked. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but so, I want to, I do want to say thank you guys for listening and we would appreciate any support you could give us. Yeah. We, we just want to get better and we want to grow and we want you to grow with us. So that's awesome. We have big plans. We got some big plans. So please become a part. Um, log on to www.patreon.com slash we need help podcast written together. And Patreon is spelled P A T R E O N.com slash we need help podcast. And then you just click on become a Patreon. You can do PayPal, you can do credit card, you can put it up, whatever. We don't care how. Don't just care do how it. Just do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We love you so Thank much. You. We love you. Welcome back from the banter break, the banter break, the banter break. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? That Did you guys great. like that? That was pretty good. It. That was, you, we that was, sampled that. <laughs> That was fucking sweet. For I could name that tune in one note. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that the band? Yeah, you song? can. So, yeah, I guess um, I have a question oh, for both of you. Yes. What what Hollywood or otherwise porn or anything that you watched as a child shaped your like version of what a penis or like like the sexual part of you was supposed to be because like jason you 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 stole some porn right i stole some porn yes it was hard yeah, to get back then you guys i mean you couldn't just google it so like yeah. right. you had to get VHS. do you want you no want the whole story hub. i do i want i okay. think it's hilarious What's please do story? I want to hear all right well my mom doesn't know this story so if she watches this episode she does not watch. listen to my motherfucking podcast i know let that. me tell I you know. That. i know <laughs> so uh there we had this neighbor Mm -hmm. And he was a very, like, reclusive man. He lived with his little huskies, but he had no, you know, he wasn't married. I don't think he ever was. And uh, he would go on these trips where he would go bird watching. And he would come back from the bird watching trip. And my mom would be charged with making sure his house was OK, checking on his house, mm -hmm. all that. So he would come in and he would sh he would give her the, the alarm code of how to get in the house and blah, 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 blah. So, of course, I'm listening in the other room. And uh, I don't know, we were like probably 13, mm -hmm. something like that. So the kids on the block, you know, we all, we go in his house. And, we, you know, we just wanted to go check it. He had a Corvette, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, like, we just wanted to look at it. We didn't take it out. We didn't do anything crazy like that. But we just looked around. And so he had this den. And it was like not even a door den, you know, like you could just walk into it from the rest of the, the house. And there was a wall of videotapes and it was all porn. What and they kind were of all porn? like they were all hand labeled. Yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't really at the time know what I was looking at, mm -hmm. I, but it wasn't I don't think it was anything really weird, like deviant stuff, you know. Okay. But, you know, we took like Debbie Does Dallas and, mm -hmm. you know, a couple other videotapes and we were going to return them. To but then but then i'm like well why why return i mean what is he gonna do is he gonna come over and go now i had some adult videotapes and they are missing now what's your mom because name, i by the way it's donnie does dallas no 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 you're, you're what's your mom's name don <laughs> yeah yeah like don <laughs> did you take debbie does dallas don <laughs> don did you dallas don debbie don dallas don he did have a lot of pictures of my mom around, which I thought was a little strange. <laughs> like the, she wasn't smiling at the camera. It was like her out doing gardening work. <laughs> and they were very sticky. They were very sticky. Oh, God. But um, so I'm we never returned them. listen to my podcast now. We never returned them. And I don't think that she was ever charged with having to do that anymore. So you're welcome, Mom. I, I made you don't have to do it anymore. Okay. Yeah, saved yeah. you some bird watching, <laughs> house watching <laughs> time. But I yeah, so that yeah. was weird. Uh, you know, it was it was really educational and weird and like Whose now, house did you go to to watch it? Did you go Michael and Johnny's? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you why because they had Betamax and this guy was a beta guy. Oh. I wasn't a beta guy. We didn't know beta. 
No beta. Yeah, beta. Your mom was not shelling out six hundred dollars for a Betamax machine. I can guarantee that. No, no, we were a VHS maybe. family. We were a VHS family. Oh, My okay. dad brought home a a VHS, um, uh, a, you know, tape deck or whatever you call it, and. Um, really early in the process and he expensed it because he'd bring home all these like medical videos to watch oh. and w- and he would actually watch them because he was such like the rules you know were important like if he was gonna he buy was it all about those rules yeah like like every week we'd have a different and he i think he also considered it educational for us to yeah. watch those but um anyway the uh yeah watching a bunch of those videos with a bunch of other guy, you know it was it was very awkward and weird but yeah. you know that's that was really the first time I saw like real like you know sex, not just he, nine he and a half weeks whole, or you know. Doctor Spitz hey. has a whole chapter on porn. Does he? What does he say about it? I didn't get that. Well, y- you know the thing is, and what he talks about a lot, and yeah. I can attest to this personally. Like when you when that's what you see, um, it, porn is not real. Okay, the dicks are it's way not. huge. They're <laughs> no, they're way huger. You know, they're a, way above average. So right away, you, right away, you feel like huge. you feel like you're, they're you're huge. You know, you feel like like small, oh, right? Yeah. And then um, the other thing is they, you know, they spend hours and hours on one scene, and then they edit it to look, you know, like mm. the guy's going forever, you know, mm. like whatever. But like, you know, they're, uh, you know, he talks about that a lot. He talks about how, you know, during one scene, you know, the guy can lose his erection a bunch of times and they're injecting, they're doing all this crazy stuff just to make it work right and look right. And um, but what happens is now if you're looking at that and you see that as the standard of what mm-hmm. should happen, then, you know, the real world, just like just like anything else, you know, just like, um, you know, Facebook and, you know, the things that are happening now, they're not, it's not real. It's not reality. You know, like Instagram mm-hmm. pictures are always TikTok. To look the whole, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and it's all designed to hit your brain in a refined sugar sort of way. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like it short circuits the whole thing and it, it can numb you to the reality of the real world. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, and it skews your your thing of reality. So you know, a little bit of porn, great. But like, if you're all the time watching that and like, you know, whatever, then the real world is not going to stack up. Mm-hmm. And so it can cause some serious problems. And he talks a lot about that. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's addicting. Yeah. You know, just like any other thing that short circuits your brain chemistry and makes it like like sugar does. You know, whatever. But like, so you know, I think of it like if you take like a cocaine addict, right? And you give them what, a little sh- we, we know of a cocaine addict. Yes. We've but then, been, yes. okay, now. You- <laughs> She's up, right over there. She's right yeah, over there. What about me? <laughs> but now give them one shot of tequila. They're going to be like. Pfft. Yeah. You know, yeah, that ain't yeah. it. That ain't doing it for me because the, my my level of, you know, what I need to get off is like way more. You know? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, like almost never does somebody knock on your door and end up like banging you just like a regular like the pool guy and the yeah yeah the pool guy the Mm. you know it just it it it, it makes every uber eats delivery a letdown (laughs) (laughs) you want me what you want me to do what (laughs) how much are you going to tip me for that okay Broad stroke okay. apology to all of our Indian listeners. <laughs> Again. Was that India? I don't even know what that was. No, I think, no, I thought he was going African with that. Oh, was it okay. African? Was that <laughs> African? I don't know. It's sub- subject to interpretation. <laughs> that was it's an fine. Uber driver. Yeah, yeah if you well, choose that's an to everyday, a- That's an everyday voice in our house. That was Jason. Yeah, I just paint a picture, and if you, uh, you, you know, it's like a, it's like a Rorschach ink blot. If you choose to be offended by it, that's your thing. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this um, is just every day over here. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, anything else interesting for you, Jason, as a man reading this book? Like, what? Anything eye-opening, interesting? What? What did you get out of this? Um. Well, you know, here's the thing. Like, look, yeah. if you if you think that because now we didn't 
talk about all the other chapters. There's erectile dysfunction. There's like penis pills, penis pumps. He goes into like gender reassignment surgery oh, and yeah, that's graphic detail of like, like cutting, cutting down the middle. And and yeah, I think I think I think the thing is like turning a man into a woman actually can work because they take like the penis right a little bit of it, the nerve part, yeah. and they make that the clitoris, and then they uh -huh. you know. Oh, I like the, that you put that on your forehead. Yeah, here it is, right here, like, right. The third this eye. No, here it is, right? Yeah. And then yeah. the, the penis, though, like... I've always looked at your forehead and thought clitoris. Now... <laughs> here you go. Need some Botox. <laughs> yeah, you know it what? does. Look at that. <laughs> so, but from then, like, you know, if they if you don't screw up the, like, nerves yeah. that connect it, right? And then you can Why turn... do you keep making your head a penis, honey? Because <laughs> you can only see... Like, I can't... You want, Okay, here, you know, if you want me to get... <laughs> I'm just trying to get my hands in the screen. Yeah. My hands are big. Oh my God. So, um, but you know, if you turn the penis inside out and turn it in, now you've got a vagina, you know, that kind of thing. But to go the other way is harder. Yeah, of course it is. To build the, build the penis But, you know, tough. because he did touch upon people who are born with one body that doesn't match the gender yeah. of, and you know, he, he said that there is some uh, research now that, that, that can show that there is like a male and a female brain. Like, the, yeah. so you could have like, it, which is interesting, you know, like that. I don't think that's something I've ever heard before. But like, if you if there's a brain that is like the wrong gender to the body, mm -hmm. that may actually be a thing, you know, like a scientific thing. Oh, I hundred. I think you know? so. So I mean, I am a doctor. We all know this. <laughs> it's a thing. I play one on this podcast <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere else I go. Yeah. yeah, she's more of a nurse in the bedroom, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> so what else was okay, yeah, what, else, what else was interesting to you? As as a man, did you did, was anything new like something you really didn't know or something that you're like, "Hmm, okay." Mm, I, I, well, not really, but like, you know, what I think is really important to note is that, you know, if you do feel like because this guy is a urologist, he's putting a lot of information forward, like technical stuff that we didn't talk about, but like, you know, nitric oxide yeah, is was, like is like a chemical thing. that yeah. gives you an erection and how the, you know, Cialis Viagra how they work, you know, like why they work. Um, you know, stuff like that, that if you... That's one of my favorite stories, the Cialis. What's is the we're Cialis in story? This is the Cialis story. I need so the Cialis when, story. Whenever Wait, I go to Mexico... Say, can you say to our European listeners what Cialis is? Because we might not know over here. Do you guys know what Viagra is? Yes. It's another it, form of okay. that. Basically. But it's better because it lasts for like, you know, a couple days instead of a couple hours. <laughs> That's better? <laughs> yeah. It's, okay. So, yeah, it's, I guess, a better form of Viagra. Yeah. So every time I go to Mexico, I go into a pharmacy and I always like gather Z-Packs. I gather uh, any antibiotic I can get a hold of. Um, you can get Tramadol. You can get all kinds <laughs> of stuff. So I just buy a bunch of drugs. And, and then like, take them all at once. I take them all at once. Yeah, no, just. I bring them home and then I, over like a year, will like either hand them out, give them out. No, I don't hand them out. Okay, don't Halloween. arrest me. <laughs> yeah, this is, I put them in all of my desserts. You're like, wow, so, this is the best dessert I've ever had. It's so good. <laughs> this could give me a hard on. So I am like, I've had a couple of beers and I like, we're in there where it's the end of the night and I'm getting my, my stash and I spot Cialis. And of course, I'm like, Jason, they have Cialis. <laughs> He's like, I don't need that. I'm like, but you never know. So I like, <laughs> grabbed it. We still have it. I thought you were going to go with the reason why they called it Cialis. <laughs> I don't know why they call it Seattle. I have no idea. You remember that? Because it's like a, it's some comedian, you know, there's just an old oh, guy. Yeah. The old no, guy that... takes it and his wife's name is Alice. And he's like, see, Alice, see. <laughs> That's Dennis. Uh, the The comedian is Dennis. Um, Dennis Leary. No, no, Rodman. the other Dennis. No, <laughs> that's the only well, two Dennis I know. <laughs> Rodman. Dennis the Menace. Yeah, yeah that's um, the only we're Dennis. We're gonna have I to got. afterbirth it. All right, we'll afterbirth that. We'll afterbirth. But that. yeah, for me, I think the most eye opening thing was how diet is related to penis health. I didn't realize it was. I knew it was like related in terms of. Semen flavor, general, right? Like if you eat pineapple, health, yeah. then it's good. But I didn't realize that 
the actual health of the penis is so tied to um, to an yeah, abundance you know, of good diet. And even stuff like um, mouthwash and the bacteria in your mouth can affect how things work down there. Your penis. So it's like, don't use Listerine because it kills off the bacteria that's important to transform stuff into nitrous oxide which and i was just like that science just kind of blew my mind i didn't yeah. realize that so that was interesting yeah and there was there, a lot of that but also i just think like you know this guy he's also a very big proponent of the plant diet mm. and really like especially right now like anything that you read it's just better for you health wise yeah. and like if you're healthier if you exercise if you eat well everything you're your sex is going to be better. You know, your dick's going to work better. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's not like, it's not like there's a special diet just for the dick. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's just, if you, if you have a good diet, <gasps> your body works better. Book recipes, yeah. dick diet. Oh my gosh. The, dick diet. the okay. dick diet. You heard it here folks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm patenting it. You know what? I'll just write down everything I make. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, depending on how Lizzie's feeling that day. Like, What's for dinner, honey? You know what? Pot roast. It's all meat. All meat. Pot roast. Ribs. Got ribs Nothing tonight. but meat. Just have a wife who looks like you, and then you don't have to Oh, pot. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he won. Yeah, he won something. Ah. Oh, but you guys, God. I mean, just just like, I mean, avoid the, the chapter, though, when he describes the surgery, like, it doesn't oh, matter like to us. Stuff. No. I, right. But I, I... I like to picture your penis being cut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. He did mention Lorena Bobbitt in there. Oh, he did? Of what course. did he say? Um, well, he was talking about a client of his who actually cut off his own genitals twice. Oh, Not I heard once. about that. Like, people they have that imposter it. syndrome, the phantom... They don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, it's just a psychological oh, really? thing that, yeah, yeah, that can be a thing. And then he mentioned, you know, Lorena Bobbitt was one of the more popular, you know, you know, things where somebody got it cut off and reattached or whatever. I, the guy I never actually knew, had a, like everybody like kind of, I mean, slaughtered her on the thing, but like she was fucking assaulted and abused. He deserved it. She had a good reason end. to do yeah. it. And then the other thing was he became a porn star after that. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. Did so he, he have like, a big he, penis? He made a whole career out of it, so. I don't know. It was probably freakish after it was, it was like probably reassembled. Average. Yeah. It was like. It was probably average. <laughs> Izzy's like, I'm not impressed. Okay. Yeah, for, no. for the afterbirth, Izzy, you got to watch that. Oh. <laughs> I will afterbirth it. I will take one for the team. <laughs> yeah. And you can't tell Macha. You just have to be watching it one day, and he'll be like, "Yeah, oh, what I didn't know you're right. Film his face. Yeah. And then he's gonna be on the phone. He's gonna be like with his buddies. He's gonna be like, "She's into it. Remember that thing we were yeah. talking about? <laughs> She's into it." Yeah. So what are your oh what are you God. taking away from this book, Jason? Anything that you're taking away from it? That I have an above average penis. That's all I've got. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, like uh, he loves it. He loves his penis. Let me just tell you. Well, you know, well, I mean, it, it, that's a good thing. Like, I can't imagine not. Like, that would be really but like horrible if you didn't love your own stuff. You know what I mean? I know of some small penis people, and it's never good. Who Napoleon was a had a like a micro penis. Yeah, he? yeah. How, how did we didn't even cover micro penises. No, that's a thing. Yeah, and they said that that is um. So the average is five point one something inches, right? Mm -hmm. So a micro penis would be two standard deviations smaller. So mm -hmm. I think that comes out in the two and a half inch range somewhere in there, mm -hmm. like it's something like that uh, or smaller, you know, and he, but he was saying that, you know, a lot of men because of porn, because of a lot of things feel like they are tiny when they're actually average, mm -hmm. you okay. know? So, you know, he has a lot of clients that come in and they're like, you know, I gotta do, you gotta do something. You gotta fix me. I'm broken. And they're really not. They just have a skewed idea of that. And that's, you know, a, a, a tough thing. Oh, does he talk about, I'm sure he does, uh, penis enlargement surgery because yeah. I, I, guys kind of have it screwed. Like girls, if our, mm -hmm. we just get a vaginal rejuvenation, you know, mm -hmm. and we, we can tighten, tighten up. up very easily. Mm -hmm. But um, men have, I think that that's a much harder 
It is, yeah, I think it is. Like you can, they can put a pump in that can make it harder or whatever, but like you can't add skin really. I think there's one thing where you can kind of cut it at the base and pull it out, like get some of that stuff that you're saying was inside, right? Pull that out a little more, but like it's really not, I don't think it's a, it's a a good thing. Okay. (laughs) I don't think it works very well. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a, I think, I think, well, do you think, just as a man's point of view, because I do, I, I truly believe this, men's penis size really has a lot to do with their personality. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. I think because it's a, there's a innate confidence, but but let's just put in that, that caveat that it's like your perceived size. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you could be walking around with like a horse cock, but if you don't think that it's like big, big you're going to be think, you're yeah. going to be the same asshole as someone with a three inch yeah. penis. Yeah. And that's <laughs> and I think I think honestly, like if if culture was more open to like because, you know, I mean, how many like celebrities penises have you seen? You know what I mean? I just really watched a that? marriage story. I've slept like, with all of Hollywood, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no. but you only do it through a hole in a sheet, so you wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> of, course, of course. I watched um, scenes from a marriage, and there was there was a bit of it in there. So I was I was happy about that because there was a, a bit of both. Sexes, you know, but if so. you if there was more exposure there, then people would have a more accurate yeah. idea of what's normal or what isn't. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. All right. So Jason All is right. taking out that he's above average and he's happy with that. Lizzie, are oh, you taking? Oh, and oh, yeah. Go and ahead. Here's, here's one more thing I got to yeah. give you. Yeah, yeah. There's Lizzie has this thing where she thinks she can tell you. Okay. <laughs> she she can just tell if somebody's big or not. Right? Oh, you have yeah. like oh, dick yeah, dart. It's my superpower. It's my superpower. It's so according to him, there's an app that can predict penis size. I am that app. <laughs> yeah, it's called the it's called the Lizzie the Lizzie app the virtual Lizzie. Yeah. But we need to after birth and find this this okay. app. Oh, I can we'll tell immediate. Like yeah. I can tell immediately with I can tell based on body language mm-hmm. if somebody's got a above average penis. Well, we can test her accuracy. Yeah, we're gonna t- <laughs> we're gonna do that. Mm, okay. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Yeah. I can't believe you're up for this, Jason, but this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> for, I'm so, up for you, for anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Lizzie, are you taking anything out of this book? That you <laughs> why would I? This is none of my business. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why should I read it? It's not for me. I don't have one. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> no. no uh, I mean, I'm taking that we got to have Jason Yana on the show more often. Yeah, that's sure. it because it's so much fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I mean, just him coming home and laughing about the book every day was hilarious. And I'm yeah, just, it was just too many at, puns. Yeah, too many. Way too many puns. Yeah. Jerkish delight. <laughs> yeah, it's called called come jerkish delight. I mean, come on. Yeah, what are we fucking fourteen years old? Oh, gross. (laughs) And watching Narnia. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. A friend of mine in college, he was he was in a fraternity and he said there was a fraternity guy who was only turned on by like Disney princesses. And he would go like in the theater and like jerk off. to like. (laughs) Oh, my. I don't. Oh, yeah. Can we? I don't find that amusing. I find that disturbing. Can we find out what happened to him? (laughs) Can we get his name and like light the torches and go after him i can tell you his nickname would that be a oh, bad thing oh, sure no i don't know no, maybe well, let's not call him out it might be bad because i think that was a pretty widespread nickname that he probably okay still yeah, had. Let's okay, not, yeah let's not let's not call him out. we don't need an attorney <laughs> calling us all right but i could st- i could facebook stalk him and find out where he is now good okay no. let's do that for the for the we'll, we'll okay. just general location so be warm let's talk let's talk about next week Yes. I'm really oh excited oh about next week. And oh Jason, you're not going to be with us that we know of. Mm. I'll be with but... you in spirit. My penis oh, yes. will be with you. <laughs> I will put it in my purse. Yes. Uh, okay. So next week we're doing Dwayne The Rock Johnson, yes. The Life, Lessons, and Rules for Success. I'm so excited because he's amazing. Yeah. he's. Really, I bet he seems nice. Like, I, I bet he has a big penis. You, you're, you're. He has dick, a big everything. He's your a dick big dar is for. <laughs> yeah, I did. The Rock is for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't call him the puddle or I don't know. What. They don't call yeah. him the pebble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't call oh him the my. grain of sand. Uh. No. 
All right. But mm. yeah, so that's our next week book. And I would cool. like to thank you, Jason, the oh, rock, Yana. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank Jason, pleasure. the rock, Yana. I love, love you guys. Love your show. We love, we you. love you. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. Rate and follow us if you like us. If you don't, please don't. And come visit us at www dot the we need help podcast.com there you can find show notes links for books you can join audible which is you know how we actually read our books <laughs> we listen to them and we have special exclusive content just for you also feel free to subscribe to our patreon account that's where you can support us financially because we need it and it can be anywhere from a dollar to one hundred billion dollars <laughs> a month you know whatever you can afford <laughs> And uh, the link to our Patreon account is www.patreon, and that's spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash We Need Help Podcast. And you can support um, you can support us on there. We would really appreciate it because we do need help. Awesome. And we will see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Thanks, Bye. loves. Bye.